back in the uh, driver's side corner in the very back of the trailer, uh, there's a little compartment back here for the battery. Uh, as you can tell, it is vented uh, right here on the outside uh, and it's vented on the bottom. So this, this compartment is completely sealed off from the rest of the trailer. So uh, inside there is where the 12 volt battery is stored. And as you can tell, it has a fiberglass uh, compartment in there, which you know totally uh, protects the inside uh, of the trailer. Uh, now the battery on the Casita that comes standard, it's a group 27. Uh, we do offer an option, uh, a group 31 battery. It's called an AGM battery. Uh, the battery that comes standard is a wet battery. Uh, both batteries will work fine. The AGM is a little bit nicer because you don't have to uh, do any maintenance to it. Whereas this wet battery, uh, you have to check the water level periodically. You want to make sure that all the cells are topped off with distilled water. To remove the battery, what you're going to do is remove the wing nut, like so. And there's a little bolt and you just gotta make sure that you don't let it drop all the way down in there because it can be tough to, to get out. And what you'll do is just lift this plate off, like so. And then bring out the bolt. So just set those aside. Now, we made the leads to the battery long enough to where it will come all the way to the ground. So what you wanna do is remove this little Velcro retaining strap and it's reusable so put it off to the side you don't want to throw it away because you still can reuse it now the batteries are heavy so it's good to use two hands and with both hands just ease it down to the ground check the water periodically in these batteries and, and you should do it at least every three months. But what you'll do is remove these caps, like so. You might need a little screwdriver to get up underneath there and pop it off. What you're gonna wanna notice, and what you can see right here, this battery is completely full of water. So this is how it should look once you're done with it. A common mistake uh, people will do is they'll accidentally overfill the battery. So you don't wanna fill it up to where it's at the very top because what'll happen when the battery starts charging, it'll overflow. So you want the water level just to be at the very edge of that indentation right down there. On this trailer, positive is the black wire and we have it labeled. Uh, negative is the white and the green. And again, both of these are labeled also. Now the sealed battery or the AGM battery, you really won't need to remove it too often because it doesn't have these cells on top. So it's a, it's a sealed battery, basically. There's maintenance free. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the battery back in the compartment. So again, uh, two hands on the battery and we're gonna lift it up and it's gonna fit on the little metal tray. And then what you're gonna do is with two hands, you're gonna push it back in there like so. It's gonna slide all the way back in, it's gonna stop. So it's real important that you get it all the way back in there like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this retainer back on the wires to secure the battery. What we're gonna do is put this retainer, um, angled piece of aluminum back on, insert the bolt, use two fingers through the bottom, and you gotta wiggle it back and forth a little bit, but hold it with your index finger. Slide the aluminum bracket over the top of the bolt, and then secure it with the wing nut. And hand tight's fine on this. You really don't have to get it super tight, just nice and snug.